fake carrots. China is well known for its counterfeit products, and you can find a Chinese knockoff for just about anything, from toothpaste to handbags and electronics to simpler things like food and drinks. Some of the knockoffs are really good, while some of them are quite funny. China creates so many faux products because everything is already made in China. They have easy access to manufacturing anything they desire with a fast turnaround. It's time to quench your thirst and take a look at the 10 Chinese knockoff soda drinks America wish they had. What? I wanted a Pepsi. Dr. Anything But Pepper. SOS, my house is out of Dr. Pepper. The former CEO and president of the Dr. Pepper slash 7-Up company once said that they always maintained you cannot tell anyone what Dr. Pepper tastes like because it's so different. It's not an apple, it's not an orange, it's not a strawberry, it's not a root beer, it's not even a cola. It's a different kind of drink with a unique taste all its own. Yet there are many imitators of the unique Dr. Pepper taste, and all have sought to replicate not just the soda's flavor, but also its branding. If you are in China looking for a can of Dr. Pepper, you're probably going to find Dr. Bob and every other name you could think of before you get to the pepper. Here's a list for Dr. Pepper you can find in China. Dr. Bob, Dr. Thunder, Dr. Skipper, Dr. Fine Soda, Dr. Perky, Dr. Snap, Dr. Perfect, Dr. Becker, and Dr. Bold. Which of these doctors would you trust? Dr. Strange. The prices of these knockoff drinks are practically the same as the real ones, although most are slightly cheaper. Yet most people who buy them just want the cheaper option or do not pay attention to the imitation's differences, while others prefer them and find them perfectly drinkable. Dr. Pepper has always claimed it was a blend of 23 unique flavors. Who would have thought that there would be more fake Dr. Pepper products than the actual number of flavors used to create the original? With at least 24 Chinese variations of Dr. Pepper to choose from, would you go for the counterfeit or pay the price for the original? So, Mountain Shouten. I'm not shouting! Seem familiar? Similar to Mountain Dew in look and taste, but the name rhymes a little better, Mountain Shouten. Originally Mountain Dew, but in China, there are at least eight different versions of this soda. You have anything from Wild Mountain to Mountain Frost to choose from. Here's a quick list of Mountain Dew knockoffs. Mountain Lightning, Mountain W, Mountain Rapids, Mountain Frost, Mountain Shouten, Mountain Explosion, Mountain Lion, and Wild Mountain. Just hearing this list feels like the workout of climbing a mountain. The good news with all these knockoff Mountain Dews is you don't really need to stress about proceeding with caution as much as you would with alcohol in China. It's also very common to find fake alcohol that can make one very ill. <laughs> Usually, it's wine, certain beer brands like Budweiser and Corona, or spirits like whiskey. Approximately 30% of China's alcohol is fake, so before you pick up a Mountain Shouten to use as a mixer, be wary of the alcohol. And if you are using some fake Mountain Dew as a mixer, the bigger question to ask is why? Answer the question. The new Sprite is Flight. Enjoy your flight. Flight is another perfect copycat soda with the same look and taste of the original Sprite. China makes up to about 63%, if not more, of the world's counterfeit items. China's trademark law regulates patent registration, and there's a legal loophole that allows food and drink companies to continue using their branding of choice during the application process until a final decision is made. One week I have to make a decision. As a result, some of the producers use similar trademarks and sell their products during the application process, where others find other loopholes or just keep doing it until they get caught. So before Flight got registered, they could have been the false Sprite, and the recipe for the soda could be almost identical. The copycat drinks that are sold in the Chinese market technically all have the required manufacturing license, while some also have registered trademarks. If you can have 7-Up, Sprite, and other clear sodas that taste rather similar, what's wrong with another one such as Flight? Though I don't think we'll be seeing this anytime soon in the North American market. I would tell you to drink it. Future Cola. I've seen the future! The cola of the future? Probably not, but it's another breed of cola, so to speak, and from a popular company called Wahaha. The future cola tastes like a cross between Coca-Cola and Pepsi, yet has a red and white label that strongly resembles the Coca-Cola company's world-famous one. Coincidence? We think not. Coca-Cola original. 
Wahaha's company goal is to have future cola sit on the same shelves as its original competitors Coca-Cola and Pepsi, and sell for roughly the same price. To put into perspective the push Wahaha is making to accomplish this goal, in 2003, Wahaha's total beverage production was 3.75 million tons. This production amount exceeded that of Coca-Cola's production in China. Now that's a lot of colas. It's extremely popular to drink Coca-Cola, and it's a favorite drink for the Chinese. They love Coca-Cola and any variation of it. You can typically see people walking down the street with a cola from 7-Eleven in their hand or ordering one at a restaurant. I'll have a Coke. China Cola, another cola. Give me a uh, liter of cola. Then there's another breed of cola called China Cola. This one is actually a licensed product from a Chinese company, and it's distributed by Reeds. For those who like to drink cola, then this China Cola could be a healthy alternative to drinking the regular Coca-Cola, because it has no preservatives, it's caffeine-free, and not so sugary and sweet. The reason why it's called China Cola is because it's made with Chinese herbs. It smells just like the regular cola you see in the supermarket, and looks almost the same, but a few minor differentiators. The color is a little bit darker, and as for the texture, there's a lot less carbonation in the beverage. The cola is refreshing and bubbly nonetheless. I can taste the bubbles. And after a few sips, you will notice that it isn't as sweet as the regular ones that you see on the shelves. Reviews say that the sweetness in the cola tastes almost like it's fake, but that's probably because of the Chinese herbs confusing the palate. The sweet taste does not stay long in the mouth due to the effect of using raw cane sugar as the sweetening ingredient. Some even say it's one of the best cola-like beverages that are out there on the market. Do we make liter of cola? Hey Song Sarsaparilla. She has got all the songs. Perhaps this is the truest root beer you can find in China, from the label to the taste as well. Instead of a root beer knockoff, you might as well go for the one that's coming from the actual root used in root beer, right? Hei Song Sarsaparilla is a popular Chinese drink that can be found in supermarkets and convenience stores, but it seems to have a better reputation with the Westerners than it does amongst the Chinese. Sarsaparilla is actually considered an equivalent to root beer, but it has a somewhat medicinal taste. With mixed reviews, there are some that love it, some say it tastes like a black cherry root beer, and then there are some who hate the drink. But I don't want the drink! The Chinese don't like this root beer soda and find it hard to swallow because it reminds them of a mosquito repellent called feng yojiang. I mean, would you want to drink something that smells like Johnson's off mosquito repellent? Yikes. But for a Westerner that has never used feng yojiang, sarsaparilla is as nice and tasty as regular root beer, but described to be not as strong and with less of a licorice taste. Sarsaparilla is very common in Asia, and a popular flavor you can find in drinks across other Asian countries, not just China. Subtlety of flavor. Diet water. A diet, huh? Looking for the diet soda? Well, instead, you can find diet water. As if water has calories, sugar, or fat to be taken out of it to make it a diet product. Get slim with the diet water in China? Of course. Coca-Cola, Sprite, or Pepsi will have a diet version loaded with artificial ingredients. But what do they do with water to make it diet? Our guess is it's a marketing tactic to get people to buy the new diet water. The water will give you power. Perhaps this is clever, considering the water scams in China. The police have previously uncovered a scam in which plastic bottles are filled with tap water or poorly treated water and then sealed with quality standard seals to make it seem as though the water was good quality as well. The bottles have been shown to have traces of E. coli and fungi. More than 100 million bottles of this falsified water are sold every year. The bottled water scam is not a new thing in China and has been going on since at least 2002. Water companies are constantly trying to build trust with their consumers. So maybe diet water is purified water and doesn't contain fungi? Maybe that's what makes it diet. I am going on a diet. Arctic Ocean Orange Soda. Orange soda? There's a Fanta wannabe on the shelves in China, and it's called the Arctic Ocean Orange Soda. As the Spice Girls would say, if you want to be my lover, you gotta get with my friends. And so this drink made friends with Pepsi, and that's how it made its way around China with a good reputation. It is a refreshing, naturally flavored orange soda that looks just like Fanta. In the 1990s, the Arctic Ocean Orange Soda was bought out by Pepsi. Is Pepsi okay? Even before before the orange soda was bought out by the giant company, it had become the orange soda for many consumers in China. You can find it at almost any shop for about 3 yuan. Its polar bear logo on glass bottles was very iconic. Perhaps it reminds you of another glass bottle that uses polar bears as their symbol? 
Coca-Cola. Since Fanta is a Coca-Cola product, it almost seems as though they took the Coca-Cola bottles and mascot, combined it with a Fanta-like soda, and created the Arctic Ocean Orange Soda. Sounds like the perfect blend of things we love. I love orange soda. Guasi fermented bread drink. And then I got you some kombucha because I know you like that stuff. The kombucha of China. Guasi fermented bread drink is a carbonated fermented beverage that's quite weird. Whereas kombucha is a fermented tea drink of increasing popularity in North America, China decided to take a different route. Instead of a fermented tea, it's even better bread. This drink is based on the classic Russian beverage kvass. Imagine the drink as a combination of bread and a bubbly drink merging into one. Instead of taking a bite of the loaf, you taste it in liquid form after infusing the flavors of bread into a sweet carbonated drink. <laughs> If you're a bread lover and gut health conscious, this might just be the drink for you. And it is a commonly seen drink throughout China. It smells like bread and tastes like bread. No need for baking bread to get that comforting aroma throughout your home. Just crack open a bottle of Gawasi fermented bread drink instead. It's much easier, right? Some say this drink tastes amazing and is a favorite, but others find it very strange to drink a bread-like tasting carbonated sweet soda. It definitely sounds worth a try. Is it worth it? Watson's Ginger Ale. I'm looking for a real ginger taste. Watson's brand is the largest healthcare and beauty care chain store in Asia. It's very popular in China, and you can find this chain store in many shopping malls. The Watson's brand has many products of their own, and has even gone as far as creating a common soda that's popularly used to aid with nausea, used as a mixer for drinks, or just enjoyed on its own. The ingredients list they use is similar to well-known brands like Schweppes. Watson's brand ingredients are water, white sugar, food additive, carbon dioxide, citric acid, edible essence, sodium benzoate, and caramel color. Schweppes, in comparison, uses carbonated water, sugar, citric acid, flavorings, caramel color, and sodium citrate. Watson's has also mimicked making other sodas like tonic water. The copycat sodas many times use the same ingredient list as the originals, just change up the name and logo. Relatively similar in taste, ingredients, and names, but with a small difference in price. If you had to choose, would it be the original soda or the counterfeit one. Some of them are so good, you can easily make the mistake to grab the knockoff, whereas for others, it would be a conscious choice. Then, of course, there are also many sodas that China also carries that are unique and fun. Sometimes they are popular solely because of the packaging. A Taiwanese company, Ocean Bomb, has sparkling water-flavored sodas like white grape and peach, but the cans resemble Pokemon and the Pokemon characters. There are at least seven of these sodas with a different flavor per character. Squirtle, Bulbasaur, Charmander, Pikachu, Pikachu. Snorlax, Jigglypuff, and a Master Ball. These types of sodas are also very popular amongst the Chinese. Even though they aren't knockoffs, they are an imitation of popular soda flavors, loaded with sugar, and have fun packaging. What's next? Perhaps a Hello Kitty soda? I'd drink to that. James wants to make a toast! You can always find more great Babbletop videos right here. Just tap on that screen. And if you haven't joined our notification squad yet, what are you waiting for? Show us some love and slam that subscribe button and click that bell.